I'm talking today to David McKean, who's an electrician. Hi, David. Hello, how are you? Good, thanks. Well, firstly, tell us a bit about yourself. What does your a typical day for you look like as an electrician? Um, currently, I'm working um, in Queensland. I'm working on a gas station. Um, I work in gas compression mostly, so... A uh, typical day for me is um, going out there. I do all the calibrations um, of motors um, attached to gas compressors, which um, compress gas for transmission to Gladstone. Okay. And what's involved in becoming an electrician if someone wanted to do that? Uh, well, you start as an apprentice. So I started as an apprentice local in Warrnambool. Um, I started here I did about a year and a half in Warrnambool um, I moved to Perth I finished my apprenticeship in Perth I got a just a broad range of electrical experience there um, in construction um, what in my time in Perth I just did a few courses after um, night school and I ended up moving into industrial electrical where I am now and is it something that you always wanted to um, to, to be, an, an electrician, and what sort of made you choose that career path? Uh, it's not exactly what I always wanted to be. I wouldn't say I grew up thinking I was going to be an electrician. Um, I always liked doing things with my hands. I did a lot of trade subjects through school. And, um, yeah, I suppose just using your brain a bit in with electricity um, appealed to me, and I decided to give it a go, and I enjoyed it. What would you say the best thing is about being an electrician? Um, probably, as I said, the the mix of working with your hands, um, I suppose making things, making things work, and also using your brain in um, having to think about what you're doing. And what what's the hardest thing, would you say? Uh, definitely some of using your brain. Some of the, there's quite a bit of maths and calculations and stuff in what you do, but um, once you get into it, it's it's really interesting and pretty rewarding. And how important has education been in enabling you to, to reach your goals and, and, and follow the career path you have? Yeah, education's been huge because um, especially to get where I am now, I've had to do quite a bit of further study from my apprenticeship. Um, I started off, yeah, just doing your apprenticeship, just doing the normal trade school in, um, in Warrnambool here. Um, when I moved to Perth, I went to night school. I got into instrumentation. I did further courses in that. So I've done further courses in high voltage and um, that sort of stuff. So I think it's been it's been played a huge role to be where I am now to not stop um, uh, just with the normal and just continue the education along. And what about subject choice at school? Was that important when you were going through high school? Um, I suppose it is. More than anything, the subjects I chose in school were just ones I enjoyed. Um, so I did, as I said, a lot of trade subjects. I did welding, I did woodwork, I did electronics, uh, all that sort of stuff. I think it's just to choose what you enjoy and, you know, you can worry about where it's going to take you on a career, um, you know, further down the line. Yeah. And what about... Um Influences like was there anyone in particular that influenced your decision to go uh, take the career path that you have? Uh, my mother would definitely uh, have played a role in it. Most important thing to her, is, uh, she always said, "You've got to get a piece of paper with what you do. You've got to get a certificate." So that's what moved me into getting a trade certificate, going down that role because I had the, to get the piece of paper because uh, it's getting more and more important now to have the qualifications to even get a look at any good job. And are, are you still learning? Um, you've obviously finished your apprenticeship now, but uh, that doesn't mean necessarily that your education's finished with what you do? No, not at all. I, st I still you learn every day with different jobs you go to, with different tasks that you're at to. Um, but yeah, I'm currently looking at doing another certificate on top of my apprenticeship, um, further study. Actually, oh, well, it's actually another apprenticeship, becoming a dual trade in um, electrical and instrumentation. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, I have I just keep going and add more certificates, and I think it's uh, always good to learn new things. And what advice would you give to young people that perhaps might be thinking about choosing a similar career path? 
I would definitely say just go for it. Start off with what you enjoy and, you know, that's the most important part if you enjoy it and then, yeah, a good career will come of it, especially if you um, uh, want, want to apply yourself and uh, take on further study. You will get a good career out of it. Uh, and if uh, people were thinking about becoming an electrician, would you advise them that they sort of sort out work experience in that area if they were thinking about going down that path? Definitely. Definitely any type of work experience in the industry would be really good. Um, approaching any employer, local employer, that you can always get a bit of experience, even if it's a day a week, if it's a couple of days on your um, school holidays or something, you know, it'll get you... It'll get you a bit of experience and see if you even like it because just the idea of um, a job isn't always mean it's going to be great to actually get a bit of hands-on um, and see if you enjoy it. It's good. And going back to um, being in school, what were some of the key things that kept you in school right through to the end of Year 12? I suppose I wasn't sure on what I wanted to do. Um, so I'd stayed at school and I thought the education would be good for me no matter what I chose to do so staying at school was um was always uh good for me especially not knowing what you want to do just keep going keep um educating yourself and uh you know the job will find it's your career will just come along I think yeah sure and uh, would you have any messages to students that were thinking of leaving school prior to completing year 12 I would definitely suggest to stay on till year 12, even if you are going to go the trade background. I know a lot of people think you can leave school in year 10, you'll get your apprenticeship early and you'll just go on from there, so that's fine. But I think now with a lot of jobs, even the big jobs that, say, I'm going for and, say, in the mining industry or something, as you're applying, one of the first things it applies is your edu education level as you're going through the application and it will say year 12 must be completed or equivalent. Mm -hmm. So um, if you're just going to be your local go-around bloke, maybe, you know, you could, but I think finishing year 12 is huge, especially if you want to further your career into a good industry. Terrific, David. Well, thanks for um, giving a few minutes of your time today to talk about your career and um, your education and um, good luck for the future. No worries. Thank you very much.